Hi, my name is Joseph, and so today we are ministering to 10 people, me and Amy, and I just sat down to edit the video, and then I realized Amy had her mic volume off. <laughs> so what happens, every time when she speaks, I have to take the mic on, uh, the volume on this mic, and just bring it all the way up, just so that you can hear. <laughs> but unfortunately, I sat here, and I softly pray in tongues, as I was listening to the Lord, so you're going to hear me pray in tongues in the background. So I just apologize for that, uh, but at least you can still hear Amy speak. Good day, welcome to Unity with Heaven, my name is Joseph, and today I'm here with Amy. And so I make a, made a commitment to the Lord that I will minister to 10 people every day. And so I went through the last three videos that we did and I just uh, wrote down the names of the people that wrote their names in the comments that asked for prophetic word or that commented and blessed me. And so I wanted to just go back again and minister to those people that wrote in the comments. So in other words, if you'd also like in the future to receive prophetic ministry, I will again look at the comments of this video and then in the future put your name in the list. But I'm only only ministering to 10 people uh, on a day. Uh, so that means if there's more than 10 people in the list, then that name's going to have to stay over to the next day. So now I try to, if I can, to involve my wonderful children. Uh, Amy's not a child anymore. She's now a woman. Uh, but I try to include uh, my wonderful children uh, in this ministry. All of them can hear God's voice very clearly. And so that's why they are so loving to their father that they say, yes, they will help me to minister. And so that's why I want to just say uh, before I start, thank you very much, Amy, uh, for, for helping me uh, to minister to the people on Unity with Heaven. All right. So the first person I want to minister to today is Nareen Theron. Okay, so Nareen, the Lord showed me a very reliable vehicle, but uh, the 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 miles on the vehicle was very high. So you took the car to the garage, and they took out the old engine, and I put in a brand new engine, but you kept the same car. And so what the Lord was talking to me about was your ministry, was your business, was your family the lord says is reliable you guys are walking in the ways of god but the lord is putting in a new engine with new technology that means there's new anointing new authority new strategies but it's still the same car it feels the same it drives the same the lord is just making it new and so i just see how the lord is pouring today a fresh uh, outpouring of his anointing upon your life God bless you, Nareen. Amen. This next word is for Lizette. Lizette, while, while praying for you, the picture God showed me for you was, you know, with, with normal water, when you drink it, we will become thirsty again. But with Jesus' water, we will never thirst again. And I just feel God is really giving you wisdom um, of how to receive and an invitation to receive His living water. Uh, I really feel that there's a lot of things that you are really trying to take in, but then you feel empty. And I just feel there's a, a fullness that God wants to pour out into your life where you won't feel empty. Um, anymore and that you will overflow with his living water and Lizette I just feel God is bringing so much healing to you into your family and the Lord is really placing his hand over you and blessing you with fire and anointing so yeah receive the invitation of his living water God bless you hey awesome so next word is for Anami uh, Anami the Lord gives me this word divine appointment and I feel over this next few weeks as you walk around and you go about your day, people phone you, you meet people wherever you go, you're going to meet someone, you're going to shake their hands, you're going to talk to someone maybe on the comments, or you're going to be in contact. And the Lord is then going to speak to you and say divine appointment. And I believe the Lord wants to open up a new door for a new day, for a new season in your life. But you're going to meet, it's going to be through a person. It's not going to be through your own skill or through you applying or begging or asking. It's going to be someone that you're going to meet and the Holy Spirit is going to say to you divine appointment. And you're going to show kindness and the door is going to open up for you. God bless you. 
And then this next word is for Mariet. Mariet, God loves you very much. I just really feel how the Lord is restoring so much joy into your heart and He's pouring out new joy into your heart. And I just feel how the Lord is really giving you like this heavenly vocabulary. He is speaking so many words over your life and through that you will um, fl flow with that and you will speak words of life, not only to yourself and to your family, but a lot of people in your ministry, people that you haven't even met yet. And I just feel the Lord is saying for this year, for 2024, um, I, I just feel the Lord says there's a lot of memories and moments that are going to be so special that are coming. I just feel the Lord says there's going to be really some precious moments that are coming for you for this year. So I just feel the Lord says, um, just like Proverbs 21 says, she looks at her future ahead of her and she laughs. And I just feel that's a promise that God has for you um, for this year and for next year. God. Jose, Mariette, I just want to say you've blessed me so much with watching the videos and giving me com comments and feedback and input into my life. And so you are a massive blessing to me. I saw that you were watching even on my teaching channel uh, some of those videos and, and the comments really, really blessed me. Most people watch it, but they never give me comments. So I never know what's going on, uh, but you did. So I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Okay, so the next word is for Yolandi Dundia. Okay, so Yolandi, uh, the Lord showed me an old farm well, and uh, it's a pump, one of those hand pumps. And I saw how you pump the pump, uh, and the water that was coming out uh, was drinkable, uh, but it still had a little bit of salt uh, in it. it it still tasted a little bit um like you know some farm water can can have a little bit of a taste to it but i just saw how you pump and you pump and you pump that water and the stream got thicker and thicker and clearer and clearer and later on the water that came out was so sweet and so full anointing and then i saw people being healed i saw people be uh, 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 slides being changed i even see the glory of god shining out of you just like when you see a woman when she's pregnant and she glows i just saw the glow of god upon you and i just felt that the lord says do not give up let that river of living water flow out of you you're gonna see how that sweet anointing of god is gonna come out of you Amen. This next word is for Christian. Christian, God loves you very much. And I just feel that there's a generational anointing on your life to build the kingdom of God. The picture God showed me for you was how your dad was making these bricks to build the king kingdom of God. And he was making bricks with his hand. And then he taught you how to make bricks with your hands. And now you are carrying that, le you are carrying that legacy. And now you're bringing in other people to work with you. And then all of a sudden, God blesses you with this um, brick making machine but obviously you need knowledge and you need um, that understanding of how to work it so you've got to apply yourself and I just feel the Lord says break out of the old there's a better way and I'm opening up doors and you're going to apply yourself there's a lot of new things that you're going to learn in this time and then you're going to start working with a brick making machine that's going to make so much more um, than, than you used to and then I just feel how that's going to like grow to a factory that was the picture God showed me so I just really feel God is going to multiply uh, bring multiplication into your life and I really feel that there's an invitation of God um, that he's really going to teach you so much more that's going to help you a lot. God loves you. Hey, God bless you, Christian. Uh, so the next word is for Rihanna. Rihanna, the Lord gave me two words. The one is overcoming a mountain. And number two, healing for your body. And I felt that the Lord says that you feel like there's a mountain in front of you, but the Holy Spirit is there with you. And he's going to pick you up like an eagle that picks up uh, something and carry you with the wind of the Holy Spirit over this mountain and so we some people will have to face and climb the mountain I felt that you were not equipped to climb this mountain but the Lord through his grace is going to help you to overcome it you know in the Bible sometimes we see how the Lord goes ahead and fight the battle on behalf and I feel the Lord is going to fight the battle on behalf of you and then the second one was about the healing I just see how the Lord is helping you uh, blood pressure is cleaning you is detoxing you is helping is rebuilding your muscles is, is rebuilding your organs and he's just bringing joy uh, and relief back into your life amen that's amazing this next word is for jane jane the two words the lord showed me for you was 
reflection and transformation the lord is calling you to look back in the past and see how far he's brought you and i just feel the lord says i've kept you in the palm of my hand and but yet there's still so much transformation that god wants to do to you do for you and it, it is like I'm, I'm seeing a picture of how this butterfly is it's so beautiful but i actually see how you come back into the presence of god and you go back into that cocoon into his presence and then god um remolds you and and gets you and prepares you ready for this new season that you're in and then you come out your wings are bigger stronger but I've, I've also read that butterflies also they before they get out of the cocoon they actually have to wait outside a little bit um so that, that their wings can dry and that they're ready for it to to take flight and i just feel how the lord says i'm bringing supernatural patience into your life and i'm bringing so much transformation i'm calling you back into my secret place i am healing you i'm preparing you and you are going to go out and fly faster than you ever have i just feel there's a very exciting this is a very exciting time in your life jane god bless you okay god bless you jane god's hand is upon your life and you are fruitful all right so the next word is for kerry watson i said now kerry uh, i have seen all your messages about the forward i have to write for your book and a Thursday morning, I, I got up at 3 o'clock in the morning because I just couldn't sleep anymore. And then I sat and I did write that forward. And so it's been sitting on my computer. And I might just ask Clay to just check it for me so it looks presentable before I send it to you. So I'll try and see if I still can do that somewhere. Let's get that done. Okay, but now the prophetic word. I saw the uh, uh, beehives uh, on a farm. Uh, and what the Lord said to me, he's giving you a lot of that uh, queen bees. You know, you put when you make a, a beehive, you put the queen bee in, and then all the bees come to that beehive, and then it makes honey. And the queen bees is all those strategies. And so you're making a beehive, and you're making another beehive, and it's maybe not producing right now as much honey as you want. But I felt that the Lord says, as you just keep on feeding those beehives, it's going to make more money, uh, uh, more honey, <laughs> and more money also, uh, uh, as, as time goes on. Uh, and what I felt, I felt that uh, all those queen bees is like a creative idea and a creative strategy that God gives to you. And so you implement it and you think, okay, the very next day you're going to now start to get honey. But then it takes a little bit of time, maybe six months or a year or two, and then suddenly... Uh, it, it really goes into full production and so that's but the lord shows me this big field full of these beehives amen this um this next word is for lizette lizette i i really feel that there's a cloud of god's glory around you and it is thick it is beautiful it is so vibrant i just feel god's glory is around you and i just really feel that you've been praying for your community for your family and there is a very big attack um, on, on your community of, of, of loneliness and sorrow and depression, but specifically loneliness and feeling um, really cut off from God. And I just see how you're praying for family members, friends, um, people in your ministry. And I just feel the Lord says, don't stop praying because I am sending out my Holy Spirit. I'm sending out my fire. And then Lizette, I just really feel how the Lord has really placed his hand upon you and he's really called you to be a, a prophetic sword. Um, and, I, and I just feel the Lord says that even know you're in the middle of the battlefield i've put a lot it's like a force field like a like a, no you know what, a ring of fire around you and i just feel the lord says i will protect you i will love you i am with you and you are going to speak so much life and then the next picture god showed me i saw all these um strollers and prams with babies in it and i just feel how the next generation is coming and you're really going to be a mother um to them and you're really going to prophesy and speak so much life to them god loves you god Bless you. Okay, Lizette, I can just concur with what Amy said. I also saw you speaking the word of God and how things move because of the words that comes out of your mouth. Okay, God bless you. As a family, it was wonderful. Me and Amy uh, ministered now to 10 people. <laughs> it was quite quick, uh, but um, we, we just tried to get into the river of God and flow with Him. I want to encourage you, if you would, um, uh, please support Unity with Heaven. Uh, the ways you can do it is now, first of all, you can uh, be part of what we're doing. Uh, we prophesy every Monday night and Friday night live with a team. Uh, and then I'm going to 
do my very best for as long as I can to prophesy to 10 people uh, every single day. So you can write us a comment. It's the one thing that you can do. Uh, the other thing that you can do is you can uh, write a comment. You can like. You can subscribe, you can send it to one of your friends, and you can even give finances by clicking on uh, the PayPal link. So I love and appreciate each one of you. Have a fabulous day. God bless you.